Hello students and professionals, uh, let's welcome back another important uh, session, but it's very important for FI and MM consultants. So you can see the difference between these two transactions, MMPV and MMRV, but what I would say, you are also from logistics background, after some point of time, if you are working, you should know all these things, especially these will be useful in support projects. Okay, sometimes they will rise in incidents if it is related to FI or PP or else MM or else PS or else any other module. Sometimes they will uh, try to push for SD because user don't know, right? They are from business from which background you are belongs to. But let's try to see in my previous video how to open posting periods by using MMPV. That's what I explained. Okay, so so in this session so you'd like to see the difference between this and this mmrv basically you can see this one okay let's come here to the sap so let me try to So I have logged on for this session. So let's see MMPV. So MMPV this, I have done a separate session, how to open a posting period. So you'll give either a single, single company code or else you know multiple company codes from a range and you give the period and financial year, you can open this. Okay, this is basically, you know, check and close period or else only for checking the period. Okay, then what is the advantage of MM or V that we are seeing? So let's uh, give our company code DRT1, which is got created. Now let's press enter. You can see this. You can able to see what is the current period. Now we are in uh, February 2023. Okay, previous period is this one. You can able to see current period and the previous period and last period of the previous year this is you can able to display and what is the basic advantage when you compare with there also there are there might be other reports so you can able to display this one but you can control like you know allow posting to previous period or else don't allow for previous uh, postings for period this is one thing by using this basically advantage whereas uh, mmpv you can enable to do it for allow posting for previous periods also you can able to do this one and another big advantage like you know you can disallow okay back postings generally back posting means like you know if you have any previous documents for last year which already year ago or else month ago or quarter ago for them like you know for postings that finance side from sd to fi through sdfi interface okay you will not allow if you don't want to allow in your project okay this is basically is controlled by this transaction so what is the advantage you came to know but who is going to use this this is most of the times used by your fi consultants or mm consultants but sd consultants also should be aware of this so like you know if any issue comes like you, know, you can check yourselves and you can get back to your fi folks if you don't have an access they can share the screen and you can both together can work and resolve the issues. That's what it happens. Thanks for this session. Okay. So I would like to say one thing below of my YouTube video. I'm in description box. I'm just placing the uh, referral links relevant for your uh, sales and distribution and uh, certain key important concepts related to S4 HANA. If anything new coming up, I will try to place those referral links you can subscribe and you can enhance your knowledge if you want to develop yourself and sales and distribution and s4 hana simple logistics module or else you can uh, uh, like you know always utilize uh, it an opportunity please subscribe my channel and if possible share the knowledge okay if you have any doubts you can comment or else if you have any suggestions also you can comment here and share this video okay thank you have a great day